Is God our creation or are we God's creation? He's our creation. I think God is our creation. God is our creation? Okay. Um, I personally look at it as God is our creation as well as we see ourselves as being his creation. Mm -hmm. I come from a very spiritualistic household where we believe religion is almost a construct of man based on how the universe itself acts. So what we okay. call God created us, but we created the name for God himself. Okay. Um, how do you know he doesn't exist? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah. In my own opinion, um, since there is no concrete proof of who God is, or who God is to you or the next person, mm -hmm. then I do feel like maybe it is our own creation over time, what people have told over time, stories, Bibles, pieces of work that have been written, those types of things. I think that we are God's creation. And then, uh, why do you think this? Um, I think this because I think that we are God's creation because if you look at just the universe and then the how huge it is, um, it's way too big for like to have just like come. But then also even more on like a smaller scale. Like the amino acids, if one was different, it's nerdy. If one was different, like nothing would work. And for us to like have come from random chance, I don't think that's logical even. So I think something had to have created us, and I think that something is God. And if, I don't know. And oh, there's a lot of aspects about God that you can't understand that we like, we're like, why, why is it like this? And we don't have answers for. So if God was our creation, we would have those answers, but. There's some things we just don't know. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Would you mind being in an interview? I'd love to be in an interview. Okay, this is for a uh, philosophical class, and I have a simple question for you. Okay. What happens after we die? What happens after you die? I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, I believe that our metaphysical spirit either goes to heaven or hell. Hell, depending on what we believe. How can you be sure of this? I believe that there is substantial evidence in the Bible that has been proven to be true here on earth and that it has given us no reason to believe that it is false. And also, if that is not good enough for you, after studying the human body here for two years, I believe that it is impossible for this to be on accident. There has to be some kind of intelligent creator that has made this all work together perfectly. Thank you. That was a great answer. Thank you. It was. Um, we just died. Nothing really happens. Nothing really happens. Okay. And uh, how could you be sure? I mean, there's a certain ambiguity with death. I mean, nobody can be sure because that's where your intelligence stops. So. Okay. So it's just ambiguous. No one can be sure. Exactly. Okay. What is the good life? I think the good life is being surrounded by the people you love in a place where you love doing the things you love. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Uh, I think the good life is, um, Um, contributing to society, I guess, and um, being good to other people and yourself. Okay. And um, just you know, people, I guess. The good life to me is, uh, I think it's different for everybody, but it has to depend on what the person would think is like satisfying. Like, I want to say happiness, but I know it's kind of overrated. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I want to say whatever that, whatever the person feels like is filling their life and they're satisfied with, like, makes it good to them. And okay. That makes sense. And uh, what would you say about other definitions of a good life? Other definitions? Yeah. Like, could you start to explain that? Like, like okay, um, your opinion about what you think is you're a good life? Yeah. Oh, you just you yeah, want my just, yeah, you're specific. Oh, I thought opinion. you were saying in general. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, to me, is having a lot of good people in my life, um, and having people that this is something that give me love and mm -hmm. I can feel love back. Um, that's my biggest thing. It's not necessarily like what I like 
Okay. All right. So people, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. What would you say about competing definitions of the good life? <laughs> I think a lot of people get confused with like the worldly um, temptations of like what a good life is, like things, materialistic things, and uh, stuff that's not really like actually makes you feel good in the end, compared to like things that will bring love and happiness to your life. I think a lot of it often has a religious connotation. Okay. Um, that it involves, um, it's often in my mind has like a sort of Christian connotation. Okay. In my mind, but I don't think it necessarily has to be that way. Thank you. Is morality a matter of opinion, or is there some objective standard of behavior that applies to everybody? Um, I believe it's a standard, and that standard is. Uh, Basically, it's often Ten Commandments on what God believes actually is the standard. And I know this, and I believe this because it's in the Bible, and it's stated through God's Word in the Bible. Well, I think morality is based on your upbringing and your own thoughts, so there are some standards that you've grown up with. Okay. So, I think it's based, your feelings about morality might be your own opinion, but it's based on values that you've been taught and grown up with. Okay. I definitely think that it's an objective standard of behavior that, that humans don't create, um, but that everyone is held to. I believe there are like, standards that apply to everybody. Um, I feel like it's not really a matter of opinion, but there is a certain like standard of good and good and evil in this world. Um, I feel like there's a certain amount of objective standards and I feel that way because um, you know if you if you watch a movie that's not in English or if you see a documentary or like photos of people who have been suffering or who are happy or something like that that's something that we feel on a human level on a human basis and so I feel like in terms of morality there's things that people if they do something terrible that as humans, we all agree, this is bad, why did you do that? Yeah. yeah. How do I know I'm right? Yes. I would base it on my own experience growing up. Okay. And how I, how I was brought up and my thoughts about morality. How did I develop them? Okay. Through, obviously through my parents, but through my own experiences as well. Okay. And how do you know you were right? Um, because God places these like moral values in our hearts. I don't think that there's any way that humans themselves could all conceive these and all agree upon them. And whose standards should we use? God's. And I was literally like, um, I know I'm right because that's what Mr. Sutherland told me four years ago too. So I know that he is right. Um, from what I've noticed, it seems like there's an international set of standards where people can kind of universally agree. If somebody's done something really great, like, that's amazing. If somebody does something really terrible, it's like, we have to pause and get, be really concerned about that. And that seems very universal from what I've experienced. Through the okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is the purpose of education to find the truth or to prepare for a profession or something else? I would say it's to prepare for a profession. Okay. Yeah, because... You basically need a degree to have any real profession that pays a lot of money. Okay. Purpose of education is to learn about how the world came to be. Okay. So it's broader than your one subject, hopefully. It's learning um, history. It's learning how the world got to be the way it is today. And also how you can fit into it and contribute to the world and make it better. Okay. So basically about truth. Uh, yes, if truth is um, find, finding truth in that uh, you're learning how you can affect change on the world, positive change, and how if there's something you could do to make the world better, uh, first of all, how did it come to be that way? And what can you do to 
change it. Okay. So it is truth, and it should be broader than uh, one subject or trade. But that that kind of learning doesn't uh, end once you graduate. It hopefully continues. Okay. And uh, how can you know that you are right? That this is the purpose of education. It's just your own personal opinion. How you so other people can have different opinions yeah. about what education is about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just hope I'm right. You hope you hope you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I would I would hope that people go to school uh, to learn the subject that they love or the trade that they love, whether it be university or a trade school or something like that. But they're also taking note of how they're questioning what they're learning because okay. that's part of learning. How it came to be is if if we're all learning in one same certain way, that's a that's affecting the world because if um, so, you should be critical about what you're learning and also try to ask as many questions as you can because uh, the people who are teaching you have their own interests or their own mm -hmm. you know they have their own education too and that's affecting you. Yeah. So you should find out you should find out as much as you can about who is teaching you. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. How do you define evil? I think that evil is when a person tries to do something bad when they're full, fully aware that it's going to hurt another person's life, if that makes sense, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it's someone with like bad intentions and they purposely like do something to like basically harm someone or ruin someone's life or make their life difficult. I think that's evil. So, okay. So harm on a purpose. Yes, or having like a purpose, like to purposely ruin someone's like I don't know life, or like make them have a bad day just because you want to. I think that's being evil. Okay. And then, what do you think the solution to evil is in the world? I think the solution to evil is for everyone just to see life in another person's perspective and to make sure to just like walk in someone else's shoes before you make. Do some type of action. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, I would say probably like to try to talk to these type of people or like the evilness in the world is just like to address the problem based on I'm saying like I don't know like talk to them okay. if it's a person like talk to them like I'm gonna get a therapist or something like that or to try to like not let what they're doing like impact your life. Okay. So that they have no purpose again. All right, thank you.